what is up guys i'm back with another video and the lg g4 review is still in the works but i've been using the device as my daily driver since i got it and slowly started to realize that lg added some subtle additional features to improve the overall user experience and offer much easier solutions to a lot of things that you wouldn't normally find on smartphones so first up this one i can't really show you on the video here because it, it won't show but i came across this by mistake so I was using my phone in direct sunlight and started to notice the screen getting a bit washed out. So after playing around with the proximity sensor a bit, I realized that the G4 subtly gives the screen this washed out look when you're using it in direct sunlight to make it much more readable in those lighting conditions. So I covered up the proximity sensor and it turns out it's much harder to read when the screen is normal. So this is something you wouldn't notice at all if you're just simply using the phone, but it's a great feature in my opinion and it really helps out a lot. So with other devices, you'd have to guess which side is the top and bottom of the micro USB cable, but the cable included with the G4 has three bumps on both sides, which clearly lets you know top from bottom when plugging in the device. This is a really subtle addition that no company in my experience thought to implement, and I'm pretty sure this could be really useful for those of you who plug in your devices in the dark. The smart features included on the G4 also proves to be really convenient. It offers features such as turning on and off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth depending on your location, or even the ability of opening a specific application when headphones are plugged in. So previously I would use the if this then that application to automate these processes, but it's nice to see it included here on the G4 out of the box. So as you might know, I'm pretty much a fan of stock Android, so I'm not too fond of manufacturer skins. However, one feature that I actually liked with the G4 is the ability to change the lock screen animations, and these don't just change the looks, but also the sounds. There are a lot of different ones to choose from, but my favorite, personally, is the vector circle animation, which I think just looks really clean. So if you type a lot on your smartphone, you might like this one. The G4 gives you the ability to hold and swipe left and right on the spacebar when typing to move the cursor left and right. This allows you to quickly and accurately correct typos and wrong spellings. So if you've ever used an Apple device before, you probably know that this is one of the main features that actually influence some people to jailbreak their device. Something else included on the G4 that I had no idea about before watching a video from a good friend of mine, Kanoopsie. If you don't know him, I'll leave his channel link below. You can actually swipe down while the screen is off on the G4 to quickly see the time and the notification icons at the top. So this won't easily help you to reply to notifications or anything, but it'll at least let you know if you need to attend to any unread notifications. And finally is the subtle curve. It really makes the device fit nicely into the palm since your palm has a natural curve to it when holding something like a smartphone. It's something you won't notice until you actually experience it and then go back to a flat device. But I really appreciate this design aspect of the LG G4 and it also results in a slightly more immersive experience with the content displayed on the screen. Although a lot of people claim they don't find there's a difference in terms of the emotion, so I guess that's just me. But that's been it for this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it, and of course be subscribed if you're looking forward to the full review coming in the very near future. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So after using some of the usual text smash magic to get it over here, this is what the LG G4 looks like. You can probably notice what I'm talking about now with the resemblance to the OnePlus 